Hey friends and welcome back. My name is Khalid and in this video we're going to talk about the USMLE Step 2 exam and what you can do in order to ace it. We'll cover the different resources, the study strategies that you can use, different assessments, as well as some last few tips for exam day. When it comes to resources, it's going to depend mainly on your own knowledge base for medical school as well as where you are in your medical career. Someone who's a final year medical student is going to study largely differently from someone who's um, three or four years out of graduation. Regardless, either way, the best and gold standard for studying for the Step 2 exam is definitely going to be UWorld. UWorld is this question bank that goes over a lot of important learning points and gives you really good high quality explanations in order to make sure you understand the concept. One common misconception with UWorld that I've also mentioned in my step one video is that you can use it as an assessment tool. Now UWorld does provide you some self-assessments but for UWorld itself it's really a learning tool so don't care too much if you're scoring for example in the 50s or 60s just use it to learn. Currently, at the time of making this video, it roughly has 4,000 questions. So if you do one or two blocks a day, you should finish within 100 to 50 days. Personally, I only use the world. However, there are additional resources that you could use. For example, you could use Kaplan videos or Kaplan books. You could use Boards and Beyond videos. You can also go for Master the Boards. I personally didn't use any of them, so I can't really recommend one over the other. An important point here is that I personally did my Step 1 before my Step 2 exam. If you happen to be an international medical student or international graduate who's doing the Step 2 before the Step 1 exam, then I really recommend you at least try and take a little gander on the Step 1 book. I used the same book that I studied from and had all my notes in, and uh, I just briefly revised some concepts that I felt are necessary when I came to Step 2. I would often revise, for example, the pathophysiology of certain diseases, certain pharmacological sections, and so on. When it comes to study strategies, there are a number of different means that you could employ. You could make your own notes in a little Word document or handwritten notes, you could use the UWorld notebook, or you can use Anki. There are a lot of different means and find whatever works best for you. I really recommend employing a very important study principle known as spaced repetition, which is basically revising information at increasingly long intervals. It's been shown to really increase your long-term retention of knowledge. The easiest way to employ spaced repetition, in my opinion, is by using Anki. If Anki feels a little too intimidating, I actually have a beginner tutorial on my channel that you can go watch. You can make your own cards or you can download pre-made decks. For example, there's the Anking deck and the Cheesy Dorian deck. I've personally used the Cheesy Dorian deck and suspended certain cards that I felt were not necessary for me to revise. When it comes to assessments, your main two are going to be the NBME as well as the UWorld self-assessments. There is also a free 120 which gives you a prediction based on 120 questions that you solve. Now the big question is what should I aim for with these assessments? Well, generally, um, you're going to get a lot of mixed opinions about this. What I tend to recommend is open up the latest match data and see exactly what the latest averages are for the specialty that you're interested in. So as you can see right here, according to the NRMP, more than 75% of non-USIMGs match into internal medicine if they score more than 240. Bear in mind that I'm using the 2020 match data, so especially with um, step one turning into pass-fail and uh, possibly more emphasis being put on step two, these numbers may change, but at least they give you somewhat of a figure. Ultimately, the main message here is try to score as high as you can, but don't fool yourself into thinking that you have to score more than a certain value, otherwise you're a failure. Regardless of whatever score you get if you pass the exam you have done a remarkable achievement in the last week of your exam I really recommend you go over the USMLE content outline it's basically a word document of roughly 30 pages and it has all the major points that encompass all the USMLE exams so just go over it roughly just bear in mind that it has information that could be relevant for USMLE step 1 step 2 and step 3 I also recommend you mainly focus on your weaknesses in the last week. Don't try and explore new information or trying to understand new concepts because it's going to throw you off. The day before the exam, make sure you have everything set. Try and really relax and take the day off to not really stress yourself out any further. Make sure not to take any new medications for the first time on the day of your exam, like any sleeping aids or anything like that. And speaking of sleep, try to get a really, really good night's rest. It is eight long blocks and you have one hour of break time that you could separate at your will. I personally recommend you use all of your break time and take them between every single block. The way I divided it was taking five minutes, then 10 minutes, then five minutes, then 15 minutes, then five minutes, then 10, then 10. I also had uh, a big mug of coffee that I took with me and I had some snacks with me. I personally took dates with me, but any sort of snack will do. Just make sure it's not something that's gonna spike your insulin or something too heavy that's gonna make you fall asleep during the exam. Once you've finished the exam, I urge you do not go Googling what your answers were, whether they were right or wrong. Just congratulate yourself for taking that big step 
and whatever score you get, be proud of yourself for this remarkable achievement. With that, using everything that I've shared in this video, make your own preparation plan and stick to it. Remember, it's a marathon and not a sprint. You should be expecting a preparation plan of at least three months, all the way ranging up to one year or possibly even more, depending on you. Whether you finish the step one exam, whether you're an early graduate or a late graduate, um, whether for example, you have good medical knowledge from your medical school and so on. So best of luck on your USMLE step two exam. I really hope you knock it out of the park. If you found this video beneficial, then please consider liking and subscribing. As you can see right here, the majority of you are watching and you're not subscribed. So please do it because it's free and you never get to miss a video from me. Comment what you'd like to see me cover next. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see See you in the next one.